What's up guys? Welcome back at the Artist Coaching Community weekly Q&A questions. Um, again, thanks for sending in those questions in the community on Facebook. Uh, this week we have about six, seven, eight questions, something like that. So thanks for sending those in. Actually pretty interesting questions which should be valuable to you. Um, let's start off with the first one. He's from Max and he said that he saw I was building a gaming room um, and he asked if I will be streaming on Twitch or if we can expect a partnership with some video game companies in the future. For those who didn't know, I'm setting up a second business right now, right next door, which is a gaming room. For those who play games every now and then, you might know LAN parties. Uh, it's this place where like multiple people play against each other. So think about FIFA tournaments, Call of Duty matches, Fortnite games, those kind of things. <coughs> and I've built a room next door with like 10 seats where we can game um, to each other. So yes, it's true that I've been building a gaming room. Uh, I am thinking about starting to stream on Twitch, but I'm not sure if I can set up some partnerships for right now. Uh, it's mainly focusing on renting it out to group of friends or group of gamers uh, who would like to do competitions against each other. So that's that. Jamil asks, um, do you think you should approach a booking agency or wait until they contact you? I think this is an interesting one because uh, somehow a lot of people uh, struggle with this. Finding a booker is hard because <coughs> a lot of people think that the booker is the key to money, is the key to more gigs, which is partly true. Uh, but in this question, like if you should approach a booker, I don't think so. And the reason behind that is because a booker will only be interested in you once you will be valuable enough. So once you will be um, able to be sold to a promoter, they will be interested in you because that makes their job easier and they will make more money on your back. So as soon as you will become interesting for a booker, believe me, multiple bookers will find you through some kind of way. So reaching out to bookers right now will probably give you a no or you will find a booker and that's not the one you want to have because they yeah they won't be doing a good job uh, so yeah i would advise you to uh, wait and let just wait until the booker approaches you when do you think is the right time for an artist to start a label interesting question again i think starting a label as an artist only makes sense when you already have the attention of a bigger audience Setting up a label is starting a second business. And when you're already having troubles setting up your first business, with, which is your artist brand, if that's already hard enough for you and it takes a lot of time, if you're gonna set up a second business on the side, you're gonna have to split your focus into two different things, 50-50. So in that way, you're actually half pregnant. So that's not gonna work in my opinion. I will only set up a label once your artist career is already at a high level, and you have the attention of a lot of people and then you start mentioning that you have a big label. So you actually get a kickstart with your second company. Do you think an artist would damage his status by releasing on smaller labels once they have already released on bigger labels? Uh, I don't really see the value of releasing on smaller labels when you've released on bigger labels because if the bigger labels are interested in your music and you already have the network to those labels, why would you <coughs> why would you release on a smaller label? Because if the big labels aren't interested, I would just release it myself. Uh, because you probably already have an audience. Because of the bigger releases, you already have an audience. So if the bigger labels reject your song, just release that one yourself and then send the next one to the bigger labels again to see if they're interested in that. But I wouldn't go back to smaller labels. I would uh, prefer to release it yourself then. What advice could you give us on approaching remixes? How often should we accept a request? Shall we ask to make one? And how much should we charge? Well, in the beginning of your career, when you're not that big as an artist, I would definitely do it for free. Um, 
until you are able to ask for a small fee and you will be able to ask for a small fee when your artist name gets bigger and more famous of course like the more famous you are the more you can ask for a remix um, but in the, especially in the beginning do it for free because remixes are a great way to tap into <coughs> to tap into a new audience and still have a lot of releases coming up so you're actually tapping into the audience of the original artist because they will see a remix as well and you still have the continu continuity continuity of your release schedule which is double win for me uh up high asks when is the right time to find a manager can you have a manager while you are just a producer and not so much a regular dj well when the right time is to find a manager that's actually when you are too busy doing the things that you shouldn't be doing things like paperwork or whatever if you're only spending time on doing the paperwork and stuff that means you should get someone else to do that for you because you should focus on making music and touring that's your job but <coughs> when you notice that you are spending two days a week three days a week on doing the paperwork and uh, uh, answering emails and stuff that's the moment f for you to start looking for uh, a manager Watch out though, because a lot of people think they do need a manager at the start of the beginning, you don't. You need a manager at the end of your career, like when all everything is doing really well and you're just getting too busy. So I would wait as long as possible to get a manager because they are charging like 20% of your total income as well, which is a big chunk of it. Do you think Facebook, Instagram ads work on promoting music? Yes. Um, those ads definitely work and especially when it comes down to promoting music but sm small well not big side note it only works when you already have a bigger name as an artist so when the audience already recognizes your name and knows who you are because otherwise it's just an ad and they don't know who you are what kind of music you make and they probably will not be interested to click on it to click on it because they have to decide if they click on it in like a millisecond and if they don't know who you are or if they've never heard the track from you before or if they've never visited a show from you they will never click on that uh, on that ad so I will only do that if you are already a bigger name and say like hey I need to reach my whole audience because Facebook uh, and Instagram are starting to cut your reach and you want to reach everyone then I would start paying for it <coughs> Hi Joey, I came to spend four months in Paris. My question is, how can I get to playing clubs if I do not have so much streaming on my Spotify and practically nobody knows me? Uh, I'm 21 years old, so I'm legal to play in clubs and I've been opening shows for like Hartwell, Thomas Gold and made a back to back with Max Vangeli in my Dominican Republic in my hometown, Santiago. Would I serve this as information for the promoters? Well, that information could definitely help, but it still doesn't set you apart from the rest or will get you booked. Um, you need to start building an audience on socials and start to release way more music. Because when more people will know you, you will become more interesting to get booked. Eventually, it's all about money. The promoter only asks himself, if I book you, how many, poop, how many people will show up in my club and how many people will... Uh, buy a ticket and the bigger you are the more people will come so you need to find a way uh, to build a bigger audience and to get more fans and you can do that by building an audience on socials and release more music but the information you mentioned could definitely help uh, to get you like an opening spot or something I would definitely put it in there but I'm not saying it will be the key to success there so those were the questions of this week um, Thanks again, guys, for sending them in. For those who haven't know, uh, who don't know yet, <coughs> next week on the first of May, my book will be released. Uh, it's called "Unhappy in a Dream Life" with a dream life, sorry, uh, and it's all about my own life as an artist uh, from beginning till the end. And it's gonna be available for free, so you can listen to it as an audiobook, you can read it as an ebook, 
Uh, and there will be a few hard copies available as well, but um, I think that will only be available for promotion. So yeah, keep an eye on the socials if you're interested to read it or to listen to it. It's going to be online from the 1st of May and I'm really excited about it and uh, I'm looking forward to hear what you guys think of it. Thanks again guys for sending in the questions. Um, I will be back next week with another Q&A session and uh, have a great week guys. Bye.